month it's on sale for $75. And I want you to know all of these things that I'm going to share with you came out of that starter kit. And so even though this is my story, it can be your story too. So when Mary Kay found me, you know, my mom grew up wearing Mary Kay products. So when I was 13, 14 years old, Mary Kay was my first makeup. Literally mixing the Cream Ra Day Radiance Foundation with water and putting on my oily face, which was totally wrong for my skincare, but it was my first makeup and I loved it. And then Mary Kay continued to have a presence in my life when I went to college because not one, not two, but three of my college roommates all sold Mary Kay. So, you know, what a coincidence. And my birthday is September 13th, and that's the anniversary of our company. What a coincidence. But even though my recruiter offered the opportunity to me several times, it was never the right time. I wasn't interested. I was focused on college, I was focused on studying. And then after I got married, I was busy working my accounting career, and I loved it. But then something changed. I got pregnant, and I was expecting our first little girl. And when that happens, you just kind of start wondering, oh, do I really have to put her in daycare, or who's going to take care of her? Because we were in a new town, we didn't have a lot of friends, we didn't have grandparents to help watch the kids, so it was a very uncomfortable situation for us. So I went to a Mary Kay party to stock up on some regular products to help out the hostess, the lady that I worked with, and I heard the opportunity again, and I'm like, oh, this is it. The timing is right, you know. Because I'm pregnant, because I wonder what opportunities are out there, I do want to join Mary Kay because I'm wondering if I could make enough money to replace my current accounting salary. Could I make enough money so I could stay home with my little girl? So the first thing that I found in my Mary Kay Starter Kit was income. Income that I got to begin to replace my accounting salary with. The next thing I found in my Mary Kay Starter Kit was recognition. Um, haven't you loved seeing the girls recognized tonight for all of their achievements that they have done? Well, that's what was happening. I was going to my Tuesday night meetings and I was getting applauded for having a $300 week, for being a star consultant, for having high sales. And I love that because as an accountant, there's no recognition in the job, not even um, good job or well done or here's a turkey at Thanksgiving. <laughs> there, there was no recognition. And so this really met a need in my life um, because I was praised. And what I love about Mary Kay is that she doesn't give just like a $50 bonus when you do a good job. Because what would we do as women? We would pay a bill or we would go spend it on our kids. But no, Mary Kay wanted women to be treated like a queen. And so we have the Star Consultant Program where we get to pick out prizes, jewelry, purses, household appliances, things that we wouldn't typically buy for us because we most commonly put ourselves last. So the recognition was meeting a huge need in my life that I wasn't seeing in the corporate world. So after Amanda was born, I went back to work and we tried daycare provider number one. <sighs> Not a good situation, only lasted a couple months and we went on to daycare provider number two. That only lasted until my accounting hours, I was able to go part-time, and then she no longer kept part-time kids. So then we went on to daycare provider number three, and Amanda was six months old, off of a referral of a referral. So the lady seemed nice, kept a couple kids, it was close to work, I was gonna go for it. And you know, in corporate America, I worked every day from 7.30 to four, but you know how you're just expected to give extra hours in corporate America. So even though I was off work every day at four, I typically didn't pick up Amanda until five because I was giving that extra hour to corporate. Well, one day I got my work done, didn't have any reason to stay, so I went to pick her up. And I knocked on the door and nobody came. And I rang the doorbell and nobody came. 
And I thought, I think I hear the kids. Maybe they're in the backyard playing. So I'll walk around to the back of the house. I walked around to the back of the house. There were the two or three kids that she watched on the screened-in porch. And I went over to the door, and it was locked. And I knocked again and said, I'm here. You know, it's Amanda's mom. I'm here. And nobody came. And I started to get a little sick feeling in my stomach. And I knocked again. Hello, hello. You know, I'm here. And all of a sudden, I heard the garage door go up. And I heard footsteps come running through the house. And she's like, I only left for a minute. I only left for a minute. I needed to run to the pharmacy to pick up my husband's prescription. I was only gone for a minute. And that lump in the throat feeling was more than my stomach could take. And I took Amanda, went home, and told my husband, I'm giving my two weeks notice. And so I quit my job. And... I just have to stop right here and just ask you a question. Because how many of you have ever had something in your life? You've had an opportunity in your life, but maybe you weren't taking full advantage of it. Anybody have that? That's what Mary Kay was. It had been in my life for a year. I had joined when I was pregnant. She was almost a year old now, but I really hadn't done a lot with it. Yeah, I had done my perfect start. I had done friends and family. I had done some ladies in my Sunday school class, but that was it. I was just kind of playing with Mary Kay. And so here was this opportunity, and I continued to work my accounting job because it provided me a paycheck every two weeks. And that was comfortable, you know? That was safe. So I believe that the Lord allowed that daycare provider to be gone at just the right moment because I know she did take very good well very good care of my kids but I think she allowed me to intersect at just that moment because he needed me to have the courage to go down another path another direction that he was taking me the Mary Kay opportunity was already in my life I just wasn't acting on it yet so I quit, and so I got to stay home with my little girl. At that time, um, I was just starting to build my business. Um, we noticed that after I quit my job, we kept spending the same way that we were living when I had a $30,000 salary, and now that I was home, we didn't make any lifestyle changes, and so the credit card had $2,000 on it one month, and then the next month it had 3,500, and then the next month or two or three it had 5,000, and then a couple months later my husband came home, opened the mail, and he went $7,000. When did we get $7,000 on the credit card? And I'm like, it's just happened since I quit working. You know, it's just diapers, it's just groceries, it's just the lifestyle that we're living, but we haven't changed. And so he said, very sternly, to me, you're either going to have to go back to work or you're going to have to make this Mary Kay thing work. And I'm like, well, I'm not going back to work. So I got serious, and I started working my Mary Kay business. Two parties every week. Some weeks, three parties. Guess what happened? Four months later, I won, I won my first free Mary Kay car. The car program in Mary Kay is so incredible because the company not only takes out a two-year lease on the car and pays for that car payment that we're not making, but they pay for the license plate, they pay for the taxes, and they pay for about 83% of the car insurance. Do you know, in the 21 years that I've been in Mary Kay, that has saved our family $120,000. $20,000 that we now have the choice to use on other things, like braces for our kids, like family vacations, spring break to Florida every year, like our college girls just both got their wisdom teeth taken out, like buying vehicles for your adult children, you know, paying college tuition. This is not a cheap time in life. 
And that's where I've got to choose to use the money that Mary Kay has given us this gift, and so I can use the money other places. So the car program came in my starter kit that I had no idea. And if you don't need a car, for I have always chosen the car. It is the best advertisement on wheels for us as a Mary Kay beauty consultant or sales director. One, people see you. They know you're serious about this business. People stop me all the time in my pink Cadillac and say, you must be very successful. You know, it's such a compliment. And I'm going down the highway, people taking pictures, you know, it's just really, really fun. But if you don't need a car, you can take the cash option. You can take $375 a month at the first level. You can take $500 a month at the director level. Or you can take $900 additional cash every month at the Cadillac level. What, what a gift. So, the next thing that came out of my Mary Kay starter kit was self-confidence. You see, um, at this point in time in our life, um, my skin, when Mary Kay found me, wasn't real great. Um, I had acne-scarred skin. Um, I really didn't do a lot with my complexion. If I show you some of my pictures up here, um, you'll see that, um, and I know you can't see this, that I was a no-makeup girl, hair back in a ponytail, and the acne on my face was quite bad. But after using the Mary Kay products for a couple of years, my skin started clearing up. I became very much more confident standing in front of groups, doing skincare class, doing parties. Um, my self-confidence grew. Not only that, but I grew in personal growth. So through Mary Kay, um, this company has the values of God first, family second, and career third. And I tell you, I have those same priorities in my life. And I didn't see those priorities being lived out in corporate America. When Amanda started getting sick and I used my dependent care days to stay home with her, my relationship with my boss really changed. He no longer saw me as the corporate woman. He started calling me mommy. You know, oh, mommy's got to go home, doesn't she? And he was very cynical and he was very rude. And I was passed over for a promotion that I had earned and it was given to somebody else. So in Mary Kay, my self-confidence came back. Getting up and teaching the skincare classes, getting in front of women, seeing my skin improved. Oh my gosh, and now with our clear proof, I tell you, I don't even have the troubled skin anymore with the acne, and all my scarring is completely gone from using day-night solution, microdermabrasion, and now our new repair products. Um, I could not be more excited that I have become such a confident woman and leader. The next thing I found in my starter kit was advancement. I love it that in Mary Kay, you can move up whenever you choose to. You don't have to wait for somebody to get pregnant and have the opportunity. You don't have to wait for somebody to retire. If you want to win a free car, you can do it. Here's the requirements. Get five people on your team, and you can start your first month of qualification. It's an equal opportunity company. Um, as a brand new sales director, I was making $1,500 or $2,000 in the commission check right away from the beginning. And as our unit grew, I started getting monthly commission checks of $3,000 or $3,500. Now we have over 150 in our unit. I have 50 of those are personally my team members. And on an average basis, my paychecks are running 6,000, 7,000 a month. And that's just a love check from Mary Kay that says, thank you, Linda, for mentoring women, working with women, building relationships, investing in their lives, investing in their dreams, being the keeper of their dreams, and helping them build their own Mary Kay business. It's a paycheck of the heart. It's not even my sales, because on a typical month, I'll sell two to $3,000 personally, so I have another 1500 because in Mary Kay we make half, that I get to add to my income. So the advancement opportunities have been just a huge blessing. And then flexibility. 
I found flexibility in my starter kit. So being my own boss, now my kids are 21, 19, and 16. Two girls in college, one boy in high school. But when I started off, I was pregnant. So Mary Kay has journeyed through babies, and I used to do my facials at nap time. I got to be that work from home mom that lived out my priorities of God first, family second, career third. And I just did my business when I wove it into my schedule. I plugged all my church activities in first. I plugged all my family activities in next. And then I chose when to work my Mary Kay appointments. It doesn't take a lot. You can work your Mary Kay two hours a week or five hours a week or 10 hours a week whenever you, whenever you have time. But the flexibility to be your own boss is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, the flexibility also continues from the baby stages to the toddler stages when I put them on the bus and when I got them off the bus and now in the high school stages when I'm back to being a taxi cab driver because my two girls are off to college and Tyler doesn't have his license yet. And so the flexibility continues. But I tell you, the biggest place I saw the flexibility was this last year. My mom was diagnosed with cancer. She lived out 15 months before the Lord took her to her heavenly home. And in those final two, three, four months when it, she was getting really bad, it was December, January, February, I was able to go home and take care of her. And from Huntington to Rochester, it's over an hour drive. And I was able to do that every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday, and be there. And ladies, if I was still working in corporate America, I would have never had enough days off. I would have never had enough dependent care days or vacation days or personal days to get a live out that last year with my mom like I did. So the flexibility to set your own schedule and be your own boss to me became the biggest blessing in my business this year, last year because I got to spend those days with my mom. And then also this last year, I had my first health issues. I had a polyp develop on my vocal cords. And it just made my voice go really, really hoarse. I sounded funny. I didn't have the strength to even talk at our unit meetings or to do appointments. Thank goodness for a wonderful offspring sales director who became my voice and who picked up such a large role during those months because we did lots of things. We tried silence. Didn't work. I wasn't very good at it either. <laughs> I tried the right and white board, but I tell you, it's just really hard to do. I tried surgery. It didn't work. We just, we tried all the home treatments and the remedies. Like, I don't drink caffeine anymore because it dries out the vocal cords and the humidity in my house has to stay at a certain place just for good care of my vocal cords and all these things. But I tell you, during those months, and once again, I'm a firm believer that the Lord has everything happen for a reason and for a season in your life. Through those months when I was silent, I heard so powerfully from the Lord. I was able, in the months that I couldn't talk, to, I did a lot of texting, I did a lot of Facebook messaging, I did everything that I could do on the computer. I got a lot of systems in place. I made sure my new consultant training was as tight as it could be and as perfect as it could be. I revamped my mailings. I did everything I could. And you know what happened? The Lord just blessed us with this like landslide of women who came in the company then in March and April. And you know what? I was prepared for growth because during my silence, I got ready. Who knew? that the Lord maybe <laughs> needed to get me silent so I would get ready for what he was about to unfold in our unit, in our lives. So um, I'm just so thankful for the flexibility that even when I didn't have a voice and even when I didn't talk, my business still kept going. How many of you would still have a business if you didn't have a voice? Because in Mary Kay, I had 20 years of customers. And the customers still needed products. They were running out of their cleanser. They kept calling. 
So I was still in business, even though I physically couldn't do any new activity at that moment. And lastly, the last thing I have found in my starter <laughs> kit is girlfriends. And I don't know about you, but I have a need for this in my life. Um, I love my husband, I love my kids, but there's just something about a girlfriend that just really completes us as a woman. And um, all of these ladies that you see here in the room tonight, they're my girlfriends. In Mary Kay, we're a sisterhood. It is so different than corporate America, where everybody is backstabbing and trying to beat your way to the top and... That just doesn't happen in Mary Kay. In Mary Kay, we love each other, and we share our ideas, and what works for one person, we pass it on to another, and we all build each other up and help each other move to the top. And so this just became just a wonderful, wonderful organization in my life because the girlfriends are just a sisterhood that I needed. So those are eight things that came from my Mary Kay Starter Kit that have just been the biggest blessing in my life. And now, guest, you have the opportunity tonight to be a part of our Mary Kay family too. And there's three ways that you can be a part of our Mary Kay family. Number one is, did you fill out a wish list tonight? Did you write down as you traveled around to the different tables? Did you write down some products that you were interested in that you thought, oh wow, I, I might want to purchase this later? If so, get with your consultant just in a little bit after we close and let her know what you'd like to purchase. You can, she'll get it to you in the next couple days. MasterCard, Visa, Discover, a check or cash or a little bit of each, but you can be a customer and purchase some products. The second way you can be a part of our Mary Kay family is by being a hostess. And a hostess is when you earn free, everybody say free, free products. Who doesn't want to pay for their order tonight? But who wants to get it free? Oh, only one person? Let's do it again. Who wants to get it free? Yeah, absolutely. Being a hostess is so simple because you gather two or three girlfriends around your kitchen table. And the products that you heard about tonight, you get to try them on your face. Our new fall colors that Emily got to tell you all about tonight, you get to try a new eye look on your face, and then you'll be receiving free products. So if you want to be a part of our Mary Kay family by being a hostess, make sure you let your consultant know because you'll get free products for being a hostess. And the third way you can be a part of our Mary Kay family tonight is by taking advantage of the $75 starter kit. The starter kit is our tools. It's our trade of our business. It contains, are you ready? $446 of retail products that Mary Kay has marked down normally to $100, but this month it's on sale. And so it's $75 plus tax and shipping. So in Indiana, that makes that starter kit $90.00. And 25 cents. Laura, what does it make it in Ohio? What's your sales tax? Oh, counties are different. Oh my gosh. So it might be a few pennies more. $90.25. I mean, at, at the least, it's a crazy great deal. But at best, it's an opportunity to be an entrepreneur. It's an opportunity to start your own business and to see what Mary Kay could add to your life. Could it add money? Could it add recognition? Could it add advancement? Flexibility? Be your own boss? Personal growth? Self-confidence? Girlfriends? Free cars? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy for $75 plus tax and shipping. And so we want to hear guests from you tonight. So all of our guests in the room, would you please stand up? And consultants, would you give them a round of applause? All of our guests, stand up. Great, now stay standing. Stay standing. I want you to do this little game with me, OK? Because I want to know, it's so good when somebody tells their story to kind of get some feedback back from you, to see if you have any interest in what I'm doing, because you might like to do it too. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being, oh my gosh, I would never ever want to do Mary Kay. Please, I just want to be a, a customer and pay full price for the rest of my life. Okay? <laughs> But 10 being, oh my gosh, sign me up. I want to do this too. For $75, I'd be silly not to. Okay? But along the way, I know you're not always a 1 and you're not always a 10. Sometimes you're a 2 or 3 or 4 or 6 or 7 or, you know. So, I want you to stay standing with me. And when the category no longer fits what I say, I want you to sit down. Okay? So, a one would be, I never, ever, ever would do this. But a two or three would be, you know what? I had a lot of fun here tonight. This was a great evening in my life. I am so glad I came, but I probably don't think that, you know, starting my own business is for me. So if that is you, if you had fun tonight, but you have no interest, go ahead and sit down. Now, a four... A three or a four would be, in our little game, let me get to my notes, it would be somebody who has loved hearing all about the Mary Kay information, and maybe it would work for your life, maybe it would even work for somebody else's life that you know. So even if it's not for you, maybe, oh my gosh, you're totally thinking about your sister right now, or you're totally thinking about your mother-in-law. So if that still applies, you're having fun tonight, you're still interested in this Mary Kay opportunity, stay standing. Okay, good. Okay, now we're skipping five because, you know, nobody can be a five. You know, it doesn't tell me if you're leaning this way or leaning that way. So we're skipping it. But six or seven, okay, we're on the scale of one to ten. If you're a six or seven, you heard something tonight that really surprised you. You didn't know something about Mary Kay. You might have learned some facts, some details, and you know what? Maybe Mary Kay could benefit me. If you are at least a six or a seven, stay standing. Okay, great. I'm loving this. Here's the last one. You're an eight or a nine. I consider myself a very teachable, very coachable person. And if you were to teach me I know I could learn. Um, I might even be interested to um, go to Starbucks tomorrow with you and have a coffee and have you answer my questions because there's just a few more things I'd like to know how it works. So if you consider yourself an 8 or a 9, remain standing. Yay! Directors, will you look around the room and will you see who is still standing? Great. I'm going to bring Laura Pulling back up to close our event tonight. Let's give Linda a big round of applause. Oh,